Here are my final tips for A-level physics paper three. Number one, absolutely make sure to read the question. Every A-level physics question has a command word, even if you have to underline it, but make sure that you address directly the command word, be it show, explain, or describe. If the command word is discuss or suggest, chances are that there may be lots of relevant physics that will allow you some freedom in your answers. If there's a difficult describe and explain question, you can try and actually calculate the value by subbing in some easy numbers to calculate and see what actually happens to the value in question. If there's an uncertainty question in which you have to lower the percentage uncertainty, remember that you can either lower the absolute uncertainty by choosing an instrument with a higher resolution, or you can increase the measurement value which would also decrease the percentage uncertainty. Make sure that you remember all of the formulas that are relevant for lines of worse fit. Be ready for a mix of topics. In paper three, the examiners quite like to pull from lots of different topics and put them together in a physics question. Don't be overwhelmed if you see an equation which you've not seen before. This is to be expected and you'll be totally ready by using the laws of physics and then applying them to a new situation. I normally finish my videos by telling you which videos to watch next, but now I would just like to thank you. Some of you guys have been watching my channel for over two years and I cannot thank you enough for doing so. For a lot of you guys, this may be the last physics exam that you ever take and there's nothing wrong with that but one of the main goals of my channel has not been just to increase your grades as much as possible but also to show you that physics is an incredible science and I really do hope that I've managed to ignite even a tiny bit of passion for this beautiful subject. Never lose the passion for critical thinking, appreciation of science and how it explains the world. Beyond the A-levels, make sure to find your passion in life and also make sure that once you do so, worked harder than anyone that you know on that. I wish you all the very best. Good luck tomorrow.